welcome to Make This episode number three. Let's get making! To make this. If this is your first time, my name is Kara. I'm the creator of Never Skip Brunch, and if you are just tuning in, we are on episode three of my new series, Make This. Season one is all about yarn, and we're going to be making some chic DIY and home decor pieces. In episode one, we talked all about tassels. I showed you four different ways to make tassels plus how to turn a loop tassel into a super cute keychain. This episode is all about the perfect pom-pom. I'm gonna show you four methods to make pom-poms, plus how to create an adorable pom-pom bouquet to decorate your space and add a little texture and color. Before we get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button below so you can stay up to date with the rest of this series as well as all my fun and fresh ideas. Pom-poms are a perfect home decor piece. From curtain tie backs to pillows to throw blankets to even tying on a basket, you can add pom-poms anywhere in your space where you need color and texture in a way that doesn't have to be permanent. I have a lot more pom-pom DIYs coming up in this series, but I wanted to start off with a video to show you all the different ways you can make them so that way you really know what you're doing, you have the basics down, and then you know which method is best for the type of pom-pom that you need to make. Method number one makes a pom-pom that's about this size, and all you need for this method is your hand, some yarn, and some scissors. You're gonna start by just wrapping the yarn around your four fingers. The amount of times that you wrap it is gonna determine how fluffy your pom-pom is, so more means a fluffier pom-pom. I did about 40 or 50 times. Once you're done, you can just trim the end. Then you're gonna need another piece of yarn about eight to 10 inches long. Lay that flat and then lay your bundle down on top of it. Then you're gonna grab the ends and tie right in the middle of your wrapped bundle. You wanna tie as tight as possible because this is gonna help your pom-pom stay secure. Once that's tied, you can start to snip the loops that you've created um, by wrapping around your hand. Just snip them all the way around your pom-pom. And once that's done, you can start to shape it. So the longer pieces need kind of a little haircut. So just kind of try to cut in a circle around all the different parts of your pom-pom to get it even and trim up those edges. For this pom-pom, I used a little special trick to fluff it and we'll get to my secret tip later after we cover all four methods. And then that is what the finished pom-pom is gonna look like. Method number two makes a pom-pom that's about this size. And for this one, all you're gonna need is two empty toilet paper tubes. You can also use a paper towel tube and just cut it in half so you have two. Then some yarn. I picked this one that's a little bit chunky but not too thick. And then some scissors. Start by cutting a piece of string that's about 8 to 10 inches long. And then you're just going to take the two toilet paper tubes in your hand. I put them on my fingers to kind of hold them. And then start wrapping. I pinch the end with my thumb and then you just want to wrap the yarn around the same way you did with your hand, only this time it's toilet paper tubes. So the thing about the toilet paper tube method is it's a lot easier to tie off than your hand can be because you can put string in the middle. Once you're done, you just want to cut off the end and then use your other piece of string to wrap between the tubes and tie. So it's actually better if you pull the tubes out before you tie. You can see in this video that I had to actually tie it again because with the tubes in there, it does not get very tight. So if you just pull those out and then tie your knot tight, it's gonna give you a lot more secure pom-pom. So now you'll see me add a second piece of string and tie it a little bit tighter and then remove the first one. Once 
Once you're all tied, you just want to use the same method to trim all the loops, just cutting them at the top all the way around your pom-pom. Once those are all cut open, you can start to trim and shape your pom-pom. I like to leave the strings that I've used to tie them long um, because they're useful in securing the pom-poms in a lot of crafts, but you can go ahead and trim those with the rest of the pom-pom if you don't need um, any long strings. And there we go, that's how to make a pom-pom with the toilet paper tube method. Method number three is for mini pom-poms that look like this. For this method, all you'll need is a fork. You can use a regular dining fork or a larger serving fork if you want a larger pom-pom. And then some string. So, so instead of yarn, I use this string that's a little bit smaller. For the fork method, you don't want yarn that's too thick because thinner string is gonna let you wrap it more times, which leads to a fluffier and more adorable pom-pom. For the fork method, you just want to cut a piece of string that's about 6 to 8 inches long, and then you're just going to start wrapping the string around your fork. If you watch the tassel tutorial, you'll see this is pretty similar, except it's just tied differently. So you want to wrap around maybe 20 to 30 times. Try to keep your wrapping pretty close together so it's easier to tie off and help keep your pom-pom even. Then I actually used a piece of wire, just like in the tassel basket tutorial, as a needle to kind of thread my string through. You just want to put it through the middle hole in your fork and wrap it around and then tie it pretty tightly. You can just cut that little extra end off and then once it's tied, you can just slide it off of your fork. Then you can start cutting all the loops at the top like we did the past two methods. And then just give your pom-pom a little trim to even it all up. And that is what a mini pom-pom with the fork method looks like. For method number four, we're gonna be using a pom-pom maker. So the pom-pom size is gonna vary based on which size pom-pom maker you use. And a pom-pom maker looks like this, or there's also a version that comes like this, and then goes together like this. So if you want different sized pom-poms with a pom-pom maker, you're just gonna use a different size maker. These guys come in a set of four for about eight bucks. So if you're making a few pom-poms, those are absolutely worth the investment because the quality of pom-poms that you can make is just so much better. For example, here's a pom-pom I made with the toilet paper method, and here's a pom-pom I made with the pom-pom maker. Now this one does need a little bit of a trim to get him a little more even, but you can see this came out a lot more even, and the fluffiness compared to this guy, you just can't beat it. If you're gonna be making a lot of pom-poms, I absolutely recommend the pom-pom maker method, but if you don't wanna spend the money, don't worry, you can make absolutely adorable pom-poms with the other three methods as well. You're just going to start by opening one side of the pom-pom maker and then start wrapping your yarn around both pieces. So I wrapped mine about three layers because I wanted a really thick pom-pom, um, but you can also do just one. Once you're done wrapping one side, you want to close it up. I kind of twisted my string onto the other end so that when I closed it, it would be close to the other side um, where I could start wrapping. Then just wrap the other side and close that as well. Now you can start cutting. There's a little groove between the two pieces where you can trim um, the thread that you've wrapped. So leaving it closed, you just want to go around the outside and trim, um, putting the bottom part of your scissors in the groove. Smaller scissors work best for this if you have some sewing scissors or fabric scissors that are decently sharp. Then you're going to need another piece of yarn about a foot long or shorter if you don't want a long tail. You feed this into the little groove between the two pieces and then you're just going to tie it super tight. Once 
Once it's all tied, you can just open each side of the pom-pom maker, pulling up the little arms, and then finally you pull it apart in the middle. Then you can trim up any little pieces that need extra attention to make sure your pom-pom is fluffy and even. Then you can just put your pom-pom maker back together and fold it up. Okay, now for the secret to fluffy pom-poms. So I'm using two pom-poms to show you the difference. And the secret is a cat brush. I do not own a cat, but I do own this little pet hair brush. Um, ones with little wire teeth work best. You just want to use it to kind of gently brush and fluff your pom-pom. This is just going to help kind of unravel the yarn and really fluff it up to give you kind of a fluffy polished look um, versus the more stringy look. So that is the secret to getting your pom-poms extra fluffy. So now I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom bouquet. All you'll need for this is a vase, some dowel rods. I picked up a pack at Target that has a bunch of different sizes of dowel rods. You can also get these at your local hardware store, but this pack is great because they are the right size. I don't have to cut them. And then you'll need a bunch of pom-poms. So you basically want to just stick this into your pom-pom so that the string that's tying the pom-pom together is this way and your dowel rod is kind of up between that. The strings, you can just cut them off or if you want to save them in case you want to use them for something later, you can just wrap them around the bottom of the stick and tie it in a knot. This will also help you secure your pom-pom to the stick so that it doesn't fall off. I like to start with the larger ones because it's easier to fill in with the smaller ones once the larger ones are kind of in place. You can also put a piece of floral arrangement foam in the bottom of your vase. That will help everything kind of stay where you put it. This is kind of the same technique as arranging flowers, just a little bit easier. So if you like the way this looks, you're all done. If you want them to be a little more cinched and upright, the mouth of your vase is pretty wide, you can just take one of your toilet paper tubes and feed all the sticks down through it. This keeps everything a little more together. So there you go, that's how to make a pom-pom bouquet. It really is so simple, but it's gonna add some color, some texture to your space, and best of all, you don't have to be a responsible plant parent to keep this alive. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the rest of the series and hit that little notification bell so you'll get a little reminder when the next video goes live. Make this episodes go live on Thursdays, so check back next week to see what we make.